Hi, Mark. It's me. Sam. It's Sam. I don't know where you are or how you would ever hear this, but I just... I miss talking to you. I miss you. Did you ever watch Gilmore Girls? Me and my mom used to watch it all the time, and then after she... Well, I kept watching, and I, I, I would, you know, go to her grave and tell her what happened in the last season. Probably yet another reason why I didn't have any friends in high school. <laughs> anyway, there's this one season where Lorelai and Rory get into a fight, and they don't talk for months. And Lorelai keeps thinking of stuff that she wants to tell Rory, but she can't, so she just writes them all down on scraps of paper and puts them in a hat box. And when she and Rory do make up, she can't remember what half the notes are referring to because her handwriting is messy and all the references make no sense out of context. Anyway, I keep thinking of things I want to say to you. Or I'll see something on the side of the road that I think you'd want to take a picture of, and, and I can't take a picture for you or write it down because I have to keep my hands on the wheel. And... Oh yeah, I'm driving. I bought a car and I'm driving it. Sorry, I know you wanted to teach me, but I think it was time for me to take matters into my own hands. I sat around my apartment for almost two weeks after. I thought, I thought if I kept still, if I stayed inside, I wouldn't keep going back to 1810, but it didn't work. No matter what I did, I kept going back, and you weren't there. God, I didn't think it was possible for me to find another level of loneliness, but I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. It isn't your fault. It's mine. And your sisters and Damien's. You shouldn't trust him. I don't know where you two are or what you're doing, but you shouldn't trust him. You're a smart guy. You'll figure that out. So, anyway, a few weeks ago I quit my job and bought this car and got my license and now I'm driving. <laughs> I'm looking for you. I know, it's a long shot. I have so little to go on, but Dr. Bright... Joan gave me a picture of you and all the info on the van. And I mean, it's not like we can get the police involved, so I'm doing it. I'm going from town to town, showing your picture, asking if anybody's seen you. The chances I find you are not good, I realize that. And driving is still terrifying, but... It, it beats sitting at home feeling sorry for myself. So anyway, I, I've been listening to podcasts on my drive. I bought one of those fancy new cars that has Wi-Fi in it. Oh, yeah, that's a thing now that they do with cars. You probably didn't know that. Anyway, so I've been listening to tons of stuff to try and keep my mind occupied. And I started to listen to this fiction one, Alice Isn't Dead. It's a little scary for me. I can only really listen in the middle of the day, but basically it's about this truck driver who's looking for her missing wife, and the whole time she's driving, she's talking to her wife like she's there. And and I just thought that'd be nice to, to say all the stuff that I wanted to say to you instead of writing it down. And then, then, I don't know, when we see each other again, maybe you can listen, and it will be like we took the road trip together after all. Ugh, God. Is that dumb? It sounds really dumb, right? Ugh, well, it's something to do, I guess. All right, I've got to pull off the highway now and get gas, but I'll talk to you soon. Or, I mean, I'll, I'll record more of these and you'll listen someday. No, you know what? I'll talk to you soon.